he got his first taste of Division I college football in 2009. He was a full-time student with a part-time job so he could pay for school. Two years later, he's on full scholarship, the top returning quarterback in the nation, and he never forgets his days delivering pizzas so he could play. <laughs> I always think back to those times of slanging pizza and, um, you know, selling surfboards on Waikiki Beach. You know, it's those days that remind me of what it took to get here and stay at humble and um, you know, just to keep working hard. He is a UH senior being hyped as a Heisman hopeful. And he's Robert Kikala's pick as our Hawaii MVP this week. Yeah, because he was a walk-on and despite turning into a late-season starter as a sophomore, he couldn't even eat with the team after practice. He's still hungry and fills up by feasting on defenses. No signal caller in the country was better in 2010 than U8 senior Bryant Moniz, our Hawaii MVP this week. Mighty Mo, that's his promo name, going to battle like the USS Missouri. For the team, school, U8 fans and family, he says, Moniz has embraced the hype he's been getting. But the one thing I don't want it to be is stressful. It's motivation, it's entertainment, you know, something to laugh and giggle about with my friends and they tease me about it. And they will tease, right? Oh, they are. They, they're sure to tease. Because of his gaudy numbers as a junior, Mo's in conversations nationwide when the discussions, best college football players in the country. You think that? Uh, definitely not. Because it's hard to see that, it also pushes me to, to strive for that and work hard for that. It's kind of crazy when you put it on that national uh, scale. For me, it was big enough just to make it onto the team in Hawaii and, you know, be known or get recognized here. Mo had a dream season in 2010. It'd mean a whole lot, but if we don't win any games this season, it ain't going to mean nothing. 5,040 yards passing, 39 touchdowns led the country. He was tops in total offense. Warriors led the nation throwing the ball. In your craziest dreams, you ever threw for 5,000 yards? Not my craziest dreams. Not even in PlayStation, I think I threw for that much. In the history of college football, Mo's only the ninth QB to ever throw for 5,000 yards in a season. Only twice it's been done in back-to-back -back years. Can Bryant be more better? You dare to dream bigger now? Sure. That'd be another dream come true. It'd be awesome. Lily Huagrad also embraces that when you're the local boy QB in Manoa, sometimes, and there's nothing anybody can do about it, but sometimes you carry the weight of the state on your shoulders. I carry the Hawaiian flag out every game to always remind me of what I'm playing for. Why is that so important to you? Growing up here, being Hawaiian, um, representing the local people, I carry more than just my name on my back. I carry, carry Hawaii. And as Mighty Mo prepares to go to battle in 30 days, he's got some new ink, gladiator-type wristbands, and a reminder to finish what he started and I wanted to do something like that, and uh, it really represents uh, being a warrior is what, what the bands represent. Wow. Mo's one of only two starters <laughs> returning on offense for the Warriors. UH football team kicked off fall camp this afternoon. We'll talk more about that later in KITV4 Sports. Finish Neat. what he started. Yeah. <laughs> well, if any of you have ideas who we should feature as Hawaii MVP, just contact us at KITV.com.